The cute mascot character is usually never really good outside of selling merchandise. However, Aquas Cubo not only is good, it's a major threat. So much so that it made a spot on the Bakugan Battle Planet meta. My name is Zionic Blader, and let's get on with the review. Aquas Cubo comes in a single pack and is part of Wave 6. The product comes with a plus 550 magic shield core, which isn't the best magic shield core, and a plus 150 plus 4 fire fist core, which again is not the best fire fist core. Aquas Cubo should be known by many brawlers by now due to its power in the metagame. If you don't know him for some reason, just know that this guy packs as much of a punch to match its cuteness. Aquas Cubo receives a huge plus 600 B power boost after landing on a magic shield or fire fist core, maxing out at 1350 after landing on a plus 650 magic shield core, which is matched by very few Bakugan in the game. Aquas Cubo became famous as being part of the most powerful trio in the game, named the Power Creep Boys, due to their huge rise of relevance after they got released. Aquas Cubo is mainly seen with the likes of Aurelis Hydrinoid Ultra and Pyrus Nobilius Ultra, but is pretty much splashable in any deck with magic shields. Aquas Cubo is also used in decks like Chaos Titan Nilius as an early beat stick to cover for Chaos Nilius. In short, if your deck has magic shields, add Aquas Cubo. However, Aquas Cubo also has a second home in a mono Aquas Magic Shield Core deck, with the likes of Aquas Pyrivian Ultra who brings in two Magic Shield Cores and a cheap 1 cost Evo reaching 1250B power, and Aquas Gorin Ultra who gains 200B power for every Aquas card played, which is great taking advantage of Aquas' flow abilities. The main attraction of using Mono Aquas besides the fact that it's really the only faction to be balanced enough to play Mono, is the fact that it has Flooding Waters, which is a 1 cost action card that gives you 200B power for each Aquas Bakugan in your team, meaning that if you have Mono Aquas you're getting plus 600B power for 1 energy, which is crazy, meaning Aquas Cubo can be 1950 in turn 1. Well, this has been Zionic Blader. What do you think of Aquas Cubo? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked the video, hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.